Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you, God, for another day to be in the land of the living. And even as I go live right now, just sharing um, with these beautiful women that you have placed in this group, God, just to receive impartation and also coaching God from me. And I don't take that lightly. I thank you, God, for what you're going to do. I hear the word a lot. I, I hear the word a lot. There's going to be some things that's going to be a lot for this moment, for this time, for them. I cover this right now in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you again just for this time together. And so what I wanted to first um, just start off by saying is, um, you know, you, you just can't stop fighting for your dreams, right? You just can't. And so I want you all to type that below. For those of you who are live or you are tuning into the replay, just say, I won't stop fighting for my dreams, right? Um, I want you all to do that, okay? I want you all to say, I'm not going to stop fighting for my dreams. I won't stop fighting for my dreams. I'm going to share it again, even in the group. Because sometimes people will, it's hard for people to see it. But I'm going to post it in here a couple of times that way somebody come in. You know, with these groups, sometimes it's kind of hard for them to see it. And then they'll be looking for like, where they at? So I wanted to share that. So you cannot stop fighting for your dreams. And I know that we're all at different walks in our business and entrepreneurship. Some of us are, um, you know, um, um, just getting started. Some of us are a little further ahead. Um, some of us are in that mid place where you figure some things out, but you know that there's more. And that's really all of us, right? Um, we, we know that there is more for us. And, and I want to just, just to encourage your hearts. Like you cannot stop fighting for your dreams because your yes and your obedience, it is for somebody else, hands down. It is for somebody else. And a few months ago, as we all have been in this pandemic, and you all know that for those of you who have been following me for a while, some of you are just new to Lanika Scott. Maybe you've just been following me for a little bit. You know that I call myself the millionaire mom, but you may not have a full understanding of what I have been able to accomplish in the spirit realm and also the natural realm. But it was something that connected with you that said, I need to get in her coaching. It's something. Well, one thing I will say, and you all will come to understand, for those of you who have just started to follow me, is that I'm a woman of obedience, right? When God speaks, I move. When God speaks, I move. Do I get it right all the time? Absolutely no. I miss it, but for the most part, I really try to live the best of I can, the best of my ability, a life of obedience. And so we've been through this pandemic, and God began to speak to my heart, and he said, buy your grandmother a house. And I was like, what, God? <laughs> really? <laughs> he, said, he said, buy your grandmother a house. He said, buy your grandmother a house. And so I was like, okay, so I'm going to be... Y'all, I've got to be so transparent with y'all. Greg doesn't even know this yet. And, and I'm just thinking, i got to tell Greg this. So um, when he spoke to me, I was like, Lord, what is Greg going to feel about that? Because we got, we're millionaires, but we have, ask, you know, funds and resources in different places, right? And so, and we're doing, you know, a lot behind the scene, right? And then we got other real estate properties that we're managing, a whole house, just a lot, right? And so I'm thinking, Lord, like, you want to have to speak to Greg? Because <laughs> I don't know about, you know, so that's, that's my thoughts, right? So, y'all, so then one day, this was one day, I walk into the prayer room, and a lot of times, right at the threshold of the door, I'll hear something. And I walk into the prayer room, and I was like, okay, God, Holy Spirit, what are we going to do today? Like, what do you need me to do today? And it was like when I was walking through the threshold of the, the door in my prayer room, and I went over there near the window. He started to speak. He said, buy your grandmother a house. And I said, whew. So now it's something that I don't care if, if you know, what husband is going to say. I'm like, I got to obey God. And somehow we started to talk. And then my husband and I, because we're very close in our relationship, but it was still a little apprehensive there, right? Because it's still our money. I said, okay. So we started to talk and then he was down like with the idea because he knew that it was a God thing and God began to deal with him and God began to, why well, I just got the closing attorney just texted me an email, just came through, right? We've been signing documents and stuff all day, y'all. We just bought my grandmother a five bedroom home. I am so excited. And so, um, and, and so, and so Greg was like, okay, we're good with it. 
And even the amount that we first thought it was gonna be, like we like, okay, this is what we're gonna budget for. It God didn't have it. We we spent over a hundred thousand more on this property, right? For my grandmother and the family that we have. And so God said, just get in here and encourage the people before you go live and share it with your audience and your, your other, you know, Facebook friends or Instagram friends or whoever. Go live with in your coaching clients. Um, the inner circle, just letting them know that they cannot stop fighting for their dreams. And your yes, it is for somebody. You may not have been able to figure it all out. And there's still things that I'm trying to figure out, but just do not lose that fight because someone, your family member, maybe your children, um, your spouse, your friends, they need your yes. They need your yes. They need your go. They need your stick to it -ness. They need your drive. They need your tenacity. They need your non-compromising. You're saying, I am not going to compromise with the vision that God put on the inside of me, this vision of entrepreneurship, where it keeps me up in the middle of the night, tossing and turning these ideas, the creative ability, right? Somebody needs your commitment. Somebody needs you to finish. Somebody needs you to be that one. Somebody need you. And so my aunt is taking care of my grandmother. My grandmother, y'all, 94 years old. I think I said her age, right? God, forgive me. Y'all, <laughs> but she's in, she's in her 90s, y'all. She's been lived a long life. And over the last couple of years, my grandmother has lost two of her children. My dad was the first one to transition. Since there are two more, one dying from COVID this year. This year, so right around the same time when the Holy Spirit was speaking, my aunt, one of her daughters, was in the bed dying. And, 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 and what I found out, because my other aunt is taking care of my grandmother, she said, Lanika, she said, I don't know if you saw a vision, because they know I'm a woman of prayer and faith, right? They, they just know that, you know, if somebody need a prayer, they're going to call Lanika, right? In the family. She said, I don't know if you, I don't know if you saw a vision of what happened, but you have no idea at the timing. And the reason why I bring up the deaths because my grandmother's her, her health started to deteriorate. And so she had just told my aunt, this is too much. Put me in a nursing home. And when I heard that, I was like, Greg. And, and you know, I'm like, thank you so much that we made God and that we're going for it with this. And so that's why I had to share this with you because you got to keep going. You got to keep running. You're going to have to learn the things that you're going to have to learn. You're going to have to figure it out. There were many times when I would spend the whole night, I didn't get any sleep learning the things of entrepreneurship in the books, reading, looking, learning, learning, figuring it out. How does this sales funnel work? How does this lead capture page work? What do I need to put on my website? What is it that I need to post? How do I need to market? What videos do I need to share? You're, and it takes time. You know, how do I increase my, my business bottom line? It takes time, but if you would stay committed, I promise you, I promise you, if I be a coach and now a prophet of the Most High, I promise you that things will turn around and you will see rain, you will see abundance, you will see prosperity. And even for some of you who I'm even seeing a vision of, it's, it's trickling, you're seeing it, but there is more, there is more, there is greater. There is so much more, and God is saying there is more that I have for you, daughter. So don't get complacent. The same energy that it took to get started, where those sales were coming in, you want to continue to do not take your foot off of the gas. And you stay in the face of God, and you don't get jealous. This was another reason why I wanted to talk to my coaching clients, the coaching students tonight. I wanted to read you all something from one of my friends when I looked at it and I began to say, that's it right there. When we don't get jealous, when we can celebrate others, even when we may be going through ourselves, 
it sets you up for promotion. When I was on the food stamps years ago, going through, didn't have money. We needed food stamps for our family. I celebrated others. When I saw God blessing them, I was one of the first to comment. No matter if I was looking in my refrigerator and didn't have the food in there, I was one of the first to, to congratulate them. I remember a time when I, when we lost, oh my God, it was everything. And, and, and we were in network marketing and now I'm seeing people who was in another company that I was in the same company that I was in and I had to celebrate them. And I remember the Holy Spirit said, I want you, because I was the type of person that I did anything that I could do legal and integrity to bring money into the household. Some of you remember when I started selling banners and doing banners, right? And some of that, when I look back at it, I said, oh my God, that was ugly. But I sold them and I did what I had to do. And, and God said, I want you to make this person a banner. It was someone who had just advanced and ranked into another company. And now they was, you know, a six-figure income earner in that business. While here I was on the food stamp. And here I was making banners, congratulating and celebrating. And I'm going to read you all this message that I got. And I said, my God, God, this is, needs to be shared. And one of my friends, she says, she, they, and I could tell the difference with some of the messages that I sent out. And I'm not saying all of the friends or families was hated. That's what I'm not saying. I want you all to catch this. However, I could tell a huge difference in those that was really, 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 really genuinely happy for what just had happened with my grandmother. I put in there, today we closed on this home for my 94-year-old grandmother. He told me to buy her a home, God. And God just spoke and said the time it was perfect as this stamp was his approval as we enter into the new Jewish year. I mean, the new year that the Jewish celebrate, right? Then she messaged me back. She said, this makes my heart so full. What a blessing and such a testimony mm, of his hand upon your life, Lanika. Lanika, I just keep thinking where you were several years ago because she knew when I was there, when I was calling her saying, I need the strength to keep on going. Is there anything that you can touch and agree with me so I can keep on going with this vision that God has placed in my belly? That's why you keep on, you have to keep on going. She said, uh, I knew where you were several years ago and now you just purchased your grandmother a home. I keep thinking of that video that you also purchased for your mother. Some of you saw that. I saw, and I was thinking about my mom too and how, God, I wish she could be here to, to see this moment. And so I want to encourage your heart keep fighting for your dreams the reason why one of my first sessions for with you all for those of you who've been here some of you just started you joined the group today you're looking at the coaching portal you're trying to figure it all out we go before the courts of heaven because what happens in the natural realm is a direct reflection of what's happening in the spirit realm and some things need to be covered out smoothed out in the courts of heaven so that you all can see the breakthrough but even sometimes even going before the courts of heaven and in prayer and fasting, there is fighting. I get it. I know what it's like to fight, to fight, to fight, to fight, right? And even this blessing, you all, it didn't come without a battle. This, this week, the same week that we're to close on this home, my grandmother's step-grandson got murdered, right? My aunt, I'm talking to her about the home and she's on the phone crying. Right, so there's, there's, the, the warfare is real, but here's the thing. There will be rewards, and there are rewards for your faithfulness. Don't get jealous. Keep your heart right. A lot of this coaching has much to do with spiritual breakthrough as well, right? If you can keep those emotions in check, and when you feel them begin to rise up, then you begin to, you see somebody else getting blessed. I'm not talking about me but somebody else, you see someone else's program going good, you see someone else making sales, and you got the same type of business model. They selling t-shirts, you selling t-shirts, but yet they're selling way more than you are. Be encouraged, encourage them, be happy for them. Some of you are in the same business that I'm in. You see somebody else killing it in Nutriverse. They're selling the, the, the heck out of the detox tea, but yet your sales are not what you know that they could be. Be happy for them celebrate them right that's a huge part of also breaking free where god can now say i can trust him i can trust her her right because we're talking to women today but i wanted to just 
share this with you. I'm quite sure I'll be going live on my personal page. I'm not sure if it's going to be tonight. You know, I just talked with my husband to see when you want to put it out there, because y'all know I'm posting it out there. And what I'll do too, I believe I can post the pictures below. Let me see if I can share and post the pictures of, of the home below so y'all can see, because I know you're like, I want to see the home. <laughs> Let me see if I can post. Yep, I can post them below. That's one image. You all see that? Y'all the mouth. Y'all, y'all, like, y'all lead up in here multitasking. I think that I think y'all can see that. Let me see. Can y'all see it? That's one of the, the houses, and I got another. <laughs> okay, so I post them below. It seemed like it let me post one picture, but I'll put it up in another group. Complete the assignments that we passed out, that I passed out. Um, there are assignments to complete. A part of your coaching is also stretching. A part of you growing as an amazing businesswoman is also doing and completing assignments because what happens is entrepreneurs that are successful They've learned the art of finishing things, okay, and not being and not procrastinating. So, so that's another area where you're going and also stretching in. I think that's it. I just wanted you all to be the first to know, and I believe that there were some things that was also unlocking you. For those of you who may be a little discouraged, right? You got to fight. You got to fight. And not only are we to be women, and God dropped this thing in, and we're gonna pray you out of here today. God dropped this in. He said, not only do I want you to be a woman of prayer, Lanika, but I want you, so not only are you to pray, but you're also to pay. Pay off some student loans for some other people's children. Pay off some home for somebody else, right? It's not under your roof. I said, okay, God, I hear you. So I want you to learn the art of praying, but also paying, okay? Paying off some debt, right? And so if you all stay, stay with me, stay on with me, then, then, then some things, more things will be unlocked unto you. So Father God, I praise you, God, just for this time together. And I pray, God, just as you said, the word unlock, whatever it is that you want it to do, and also unlock in your people and your women. I feel, y'all, I feel you all going higher. I literally put that anointing again on my feet where he's elevating you higher. God, that they has the doors. I see doors open. Doors, I mean, God is saying, don't be afraid to move. I just saw... Um, turning of the doors, turning of the doors. You're going into going into new places, new territories. I just saw that, a vision of it. I pray, I pray for you. I pray for your business. I thank you for your your paperwork, your documents. I pray for your website. For those of you who have websites, that you that the links will work, that the customers will come in, that the clients will sign up for your products, that they will go out of the door, and that they will go out of the warehouses, that they will find their ways into the houses of many. Yes, and I pray for it. I pray for you. I pray um, more sign-ups, more enrollments, uh, more memberships. For those of you who have e-courses, that they will find you, that they will find you. Yes, that I hear, I see a vision of them, like them hearing, and, and there's a cry, there's a sound that's actually going out into the world where people are like, where, where is this person at? Where, who is it that I need? And that they will find you. And so I pray that you all stay encouraged. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, your coach, <laughs> one of your coaches, for those of you who also tap into several, which is also good with me, um, the Lanika Scott, the Millionaire Mom. God bless you all. Bye-bye.